friends how are you all i hope you all are doing good today in this video we are gonna learn this beautiful beautiful granny square can you see this is so beautiful and if you think that it is gonna be difficult i'm telling you and i'm promising you it is really really very easy pattern also i'm want to tell you that you can make it as big as you want these heart shapes and everything you can make as big as you want and you can make your beautiful granny square so let's start making this beautiful granny square to start with we'll make a slip knot and now we'll make 10 chains 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 chains. Okay. And now we'll make a slip stitch to the first chain. We'll go to the first chain here, yarn over, and now from this loop again. So we got a center circle if you want to make eight chains is also your wish if you want to make six chains is also your wish but you should be comfortable making the next round okay so i'm making 10 chains so you can see this we're, we're gonna make this round so we have one we're starting counting from here one two three four five six seven eight so eight sides will have to make okay so now this is our center and now we'll make this round okay so eight corners we are going to make first i'm making one two three chains yarn over i'll go to the center and first double crochet and second double crochet so if i will consider this three chains as one double crochet so i got one two and three double crochets now i'll make two chains one and two and now in this again i'll make three double crochets one two and this is my third double crochet and again two chains and again three double crochets one two and this is my third double crochet so i made one two three sides total i need to make eight sides so one two three already done and all the eight sides will be separated by two chains and while working i am rotating this loose end in my circle so it will not be visible in the last so let's finish it three already made total we'll have to make eight so next five will make and i'll see you all at this point so now we have made total eight sides this is my one this is my two this is my third side and now fourth fifth sixth seventh and this is my eighth side and now before joining this to this i'll make two chains one and two chains and now i'll make a slip stitch to the third chain from bottom so this is my one second this is my third chain and now this is done my first round is complete now what i will do i will make a slip stitch to the next double crochet this is my next double crochet and i'll go to the top of this double crochet here and i'll make a slip stitch and to the next double crochet on the top i'll go and i'll make a slip stitch again and now i'll come to this part where i made two chains gap and i'll make a slip stitch and i'm here and now one two this is my third chain third these three chains are my one double crochet and now one two three 
four, five chains. Okay, and now yarn over, and now I'll come to this gap, next gap. Here I'll make one double crochet. And now again I'll make one, two, three, four, five chains, yarn over. When I'm, you know, going to the next, I'm putting my thumb here. So that, you know, chain should not rotate around my hook. So like this. And now I'm going here, yarn over. Now, like this one and two so five chains before five chains i made three chains total eight chains so three chains are my one double crochet then five chains then one double crochet then five chains and one double crochet again five chains all around will make so i'll see you all at this point okay now we have made this all around and now we are in the last part one two three four Five. We made five chains here. Okay. Now we'll have to make a slip stitch on the third one, two. This is my third chain. Okay. Third chain. This is my one. This is my two. This is my third chain. We are making a slip stitch. And now this is my complete round. Clear. Now what we will do, we will come to this portion by making a slip stitch and now 1, 2, 3 chains and 4 double crochets. So this is my 1 double crochet, 2nd, 3rd. four double crochets one and two chains and now five double crochets here one two three four and this is my fifth double crochet and one and two chains and now again here five double crochets so we'll make five double crochets in all these parts and we'll separate them with two chains you can see it here also we made five double crochets one two three four five double crochets and then two chains five double crochets two chains all around we'll make in this round like this okay clear so let's finish it and i'll see you all at this point at this point here okay let us finish five double crochet separated by two chains all around and now we are here we made five double crochets here we'll make two chains one and two chains and now we'll make a slip stitch one two three in the third chain from bottom we made a slip stitch is it clear up to here and now what next we'll do we'll make again one two three chains and now focus here small thing only small thing yarn over at the same place here we made these three chains we'll make one more double crochet and now we'll make in the next here in the next double crochet one double crochet next one double crochet and in the next one double crochet in the last again we'll make here on the top two double crochets at the same point one double crochet and here again at this point we'll make one more double crochet so here we had five now how many we have one two three 
four, five, six, seven. So five on the top of five plus one there here and one here. Okay. So to we increased this by two double crochets, one here and one here. Right. So two at the start, two at the end, and one, one on each. And now same thing we'll do. Two chains. Now one more time. Here, on the top, I'll make one. and two double crochets at the same point and now one double crochet next one double crochet next here one double crochet and in the last here we'll make one and two double crochets one and two chains and continue the same thing all around see it will come like this it is increasing right so let's finish it let's finish it all around i'll see you all at this point now we have completed our round now we'll make two chains one and two chains and now we'll go to the third chain from bottom one to this is my third chain i will make a slip stitch here and my round is complete right and now what we'll do here we made five seven and now we'll make nine double crochets in the next in the first double crochet will make two in the last will make two and remaining will make one right in every round our double crochets are increasing by two numbers so one two this is my third chain this is my first double crochet and at the same place here second double crochet and now i'll go to the next and i'll make one double crochet on each till second last double crochet so one double crochet on each and now this is my last double crochet here i'll make two double crochets this is my one and second double crochet here and now i'll go to the next by making two chains and here again i'll make two double crochets at the start point one and two and remaining will be same so can you see it is increasing just like this so i want to tell you that here i made one two three rounds and then the last i made this heart shape if you want to make it little you know bigger the circle you want to make little bigger you can keep on increasing this whatever you know number of rounds you want like you can make one more only thing you'll have to do is you'll have to make two double crochets in the start and in the end here and remaining will be same one double crochet and it will keep on increasing and this part will be same okay so let's finish this round also now we have completed our, ra our round and now what we'll do we'll make two chains one and two chains and now we'll make a slip stitch the third chain from bottom first second this is my third chain and this is my slip stitch now if you want to make it a little more you know next round also two rounds whatever number of rounds you want to make you will have to just make two double crochets in the start and in the end remaining you will make single crochet but now i'm not making more i'm making this shape so that it should look like a heart 
you know when we are looking it like this it is it is looking like a heart so let's start making this and now we'll make one two and three chains yarn over and now we'll go to the next double crochet here on the top of this and we'll make a semi double crochet one next two next three and one more time at this four semi double crochets we'll make and after that we'll take our yarn from all these loops okay and now we'll make one chain and close this and now one two three four and five chains okay yarn over after this at the same point here i made my fourth double crochet three chains and four double crochet means total five double crochets okay yarn over at this same point i'll make semi double crochet one on the second two third fourth and this is my fifth okay so five here and these four double crochets semi double crochets and three chains okay so here also this is my fifth again because like this okay so five one two three four five okay now we'll take this yarn from all these loops and little bit tighten and make a chain on the top of this so can you see a shape of heart here and now we'll make five chains one two three four five chains and we'll come here and we'll make a single crochet here okay and now again we'll make five chains one two three four and five chains and i'm always keeping my thumb here if you'll see it i'm not leaving it when i'm making more chains at that time my thumb is here yarn over now like this and i'll go to this first double crochet here on the top of this i'll go and i'll make a semi double crochet yarn over five times one two three four and this is my fifth okay and now this yarn from all these loops and from this chain little bit tight this and like this one two three four five chains again my thumb here yarn over at the same place where i made my fifth double semi double crochet here at the same place my first semi double crochet second third fourth and this will be my fifth semi double crochet now my yarn from all these loops little bit tight and one chain now five chains single crochet and again five chains i'll make in this one two three four five chains and here i'll make my single crochet this single crochet five chains again five chains i'll go here one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव चेन्स यान ओवर ओके एंड नाउ आई कम टू दिस एंड आई मेक वन सेंस लाइक दिस विल हैव टू यू नो कैन यू सी दिस शेप ऑफ हार्ट इज कमिंग विल हैव टू रिपीट दिस ऑल अराउंड लाइक दिस and it will take a shape of this beautiful heart eight hearts 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 so let us finish it all around and i'll see you all when i'll be at my eighth heart right so let's make it fast now you can see you know this is a beautiful shape can you see this this is coming out to be really really beautiful and now what we will do now i'm in the last you know part of this round let us make 1 2 3 4 and 5 chains and now we'll come to this part here here at the top you see this little space here here we will go back yarn over and come back like this and we will make a slip stitch so now my this part is also complete it is just like this now will make this part as i told you if you wanted to make it a bigger you know this you could have made and then like we have nine here so we made five double crochets and five double crochets our fifth was at the same stitch so 1 2 3 4 fifth from fifth only we started 1 2 3 4 fifth so based on that if you have you know any number of uh, these double crochets you should divide them in equal okay you calculate your these double crochets semi double crochets okay now let's start making this this round and this is i'm telling you super easy this was easy this is this one is easier than this okay so let's start making this round now what we are going to do now we will do it only one time we will not repeat that again and again so watch that carefully we will we made five chains here so we'll focus here and we will make the first chain here the first chain will make one the slip stitch and the second chain we'll make one more slip stitch basically we are trying to come at the center this is my third chain and i made one more slip stitch only one time we're going to do this thing okay after that we will not do that one two three chains which is our one double crochet yarn over here we'll make one more double crochet okay now we'll make one and two chains yarn over here at this part we'll make two double crochet again so you can call it you know two double crochets two chain and two double crochets okay and now what we will do we will make one two three four and five chains okay five chains now you can see these five chains here will come at this five chain here anywhere okay like this and we'll make a single crochet 1 2 3 4 five chains and these five chains will come here here and we'll make a single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 chains here 
this heart between this here will make a single crochet again at this heart at this heart we made this cor this corner okay two double crochets two chains and two double crochets but at next heart we are not repeating this okay five chains one two three four five chains at next v chain here a single crochet one two three four five chains at this next here in this corner we'll make one single crochet and now we are at next heart see this heart we made this corner next heart we made nothing now this heart will make this corner okay one two three four five chains we'll keep our hand here yarn over and now here one double crochet yarn over second double crochet one and two chains yarn over again one double crochet and second double crochet again we created corner because now we are turning it into a square so we are creating four corners so one two three and four corners so out of eight we'll make it one skip one make it one skip one skip one skip so we'll get four corners like this okay these are our corners we are making our corners and remaining the center one will skip right and now after making this corner for the next heart here we'll make this don't worry we are doing nothing we are just making one two three four five chains okay after this five chain we have this one here we'll make a single crochet one two three four five chains next here single crochet here okay one two three four five this heart single crochet one two three four five chains here single crochet one two three four and five chains here in this part here single crochet but be careful this is the heart where we'll have to create this corner see one corner second corner here we did nothing now we are making third corner one two three four five chains yarn over and like this one double crochet second double crochet one and two chains again one double crochet and second double crochet so let's repeat this cycle here also and i'll see you all at this point okay let's repeat this fine so now we are at the last part of this round one two three four five chains and now we are here okay so at the third chain we'll make a this is the third chain here i will make a slip stitch like this and now at the top of second double crochet again i will make a slip stitch and here in this corner i will come by making another slip stitch one two three chains yarn over in this one double crochet one and two chains yarn over in this again one and two double crochets okay we made this and now repeat same thing one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव चेन्स ओके दिस दिस फाइव चेन्स वी क्रिएटेड हेयर हेयर विल मेक सिंगल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव चेन्स नेक्स्ट हेयर सी हेयर विल मेक अ सिंगल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव हेयर नेक्स्ट विल मेक अ सिंगल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव चेन्स हेयर a single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 chains at this point again single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 chains and at this point single crochet and now what 1 2 3 4 5 chains yarn over and at this point here one double crochet and second double crochet one and two chains yarn over at this point again two double crochets one and two double crochets one two three four five and start making single crochets and five chains again and again until next corner keep making it like this all around and i'll see you all at this point see like this you're making so 1 2 3 4 rounds i made you can make 6 round 7 round whatever you wish you can make okay so let's finish this round right let's finish this round now i'm in the last part of my Round one, two, three, four, and five chains. And now I'll go to the first, second. This is my third chain, and I'll make a slip stitch. Now, friends, if you, I told you that here I made one, two, three, four rounds. If you want, you can make even six, seven, eight rounds, whatever you wish, or you can increase this also, and then based on that, you can make this. You know. this also so it can go to any size and it will look beautiful so ma now method you know that you'll have to keep on making like this so now i'm not increasing it any more i want to tell you how to finish it now whenever you are done with your these rounds you'll have to finish also and make a border so that it will you know look really good and complete so one point you'll have to keep in mind before you will finish these rounds okay see when i will make this border this border i'll start from here right so whatever number of stitches i will make here we'll discuss that later so we'll call them a uh, border and then a stitch a border and then a stitch like that so i'll make my border here and a stitch here so after this corner i'll start with a stitch okay border stitch border next stitch border stitch border and stitch so after these corners this corner and this corner my these first these loops should end with a stitch or a single crochet here it should not be like i start you know if i if I, if i would have made a border here in this row see i'll make my border here a stitch here border here a stitch here border here a stitch here and then border so i'm not ending with a stitch so i should always focus that my these rounds should end at such a point where my balance should be there start and end with a single crochet or a stitch i'm calling it so i'll make a now whenever whatever i will make you will understand it now here we'll make a single crochet and here again we'll make a single crochet S uh, slip stitch sorry we made slip stitch and we came here now 
one two three chains yarn over here one two and three double crochets okay so one two three double uh, four double crochets and one chain here again four double crochets one two three and four double crochets you can make five and five also five double crochets a chain and five double crochet choice is yours okay and now what we will do just here here we'll make a single crochet yarn over we'll go to the next here and we'll make seven double crochets here one two three four five six and seven double crochet and in the next just next here a single crochet now again we'll make we made a single crochet here here seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven double crochets here again a single crochet this is what i wanted to tell you that we'll have to make a single crochet and then a border here one two three four five six and this is my seventh double crochet and now here this is the last after that i'll have to make corner a single crochet so i started with single crochet here ending with single crochet okay and now yarn over here four double crochets one two three four you i told you you want you can make five double crochets also one chain and again four double crochets one two three and four double crochets and again a single crochet in the next side here so can you see this because of single crochet it is having a wave kind of design here see here we made it like this so now you understood the method of making these loops also you know five chains and then joining so let's finish it all around and when i'll finish it i'll see you all at this point it is very easy you'll have to repeat the same thing here only focus that when you are and you know ending your these rounds you just check whether it will be you know finish start and finish with a single crochet after these corners okay so let's finish it fast now my this you know border is also complete even this i made small it is also looking equally beautiful if you want to see you can see this this is also looking really really beautiful and if you want to make it big it will still look great so now this is the last part so i will make a single crochet here and now i'll make a one two three slip stitch in the third chain from bottom and now my beautiful you you will what you will do to you know finish it you will make 
one and two chains cut your yarn take it from here and tie it properly okay and now my this is ready we will see it carefully it is extremely easy as you know that we are not doing anything very difficult here we are only increasing two double you know one double crochet here and here in the start and we are making only five chains and then making single crochet in each next chain very simple and wow very beautiful i love this you know design it is very easy and outcome is really beautiful and i would request you all also please try making this beautiful granny square and use it as your you know tea coaster or anything you want to use as a pillow cover or a, you know small blanket or anything anything you want to use it for it will look really beautiful so if you like my video friends please please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family members and keep crocheting take care bye bye